Alrighty, we're back with part two of Alan Wake. Let's act like we're on vacation. Go stand next to that old gentleman there. I want a shot of you with the town in the background. I want you to take a shot of me. I'll even give you a title for the shot. A city boy. Moments before he got eaten by a bear. Right. Sup, old dude. How you doing? Hello there. You picked a good time to visit our town. Deerfest is just two weeks away. It's Deerfest, huh? Did you hear that, honey? You have a lovely wife. If you don't mind me saying Thanks, dude. I'm Pat Bain, by the way. Nice to meet you. Yeah, I'm Alan Wake. I won't pretend I don't recognize a famous writer such as yourself, Mr. Wake. A pleasure. I'm an avid reader myself. I hope this isn't too presumptuous of me, but I'm the night host at the local radio station. Any chance I can get an interview? Look, Mr. Maine, I'm on vacation. In fact, so I'd appreciate it if we could keep my being here just between the two of us. I'm sure you understand. Fair enough. You can trust me to be this not a hard man to track down if you change your mind, though. I hope you two okay, have Gene. a lovely Got you. Holiday. No problem. Like you, old dude. Stop taking pictures of me, you freaking creep. How am I supposed to come talk Very to you? Very nice. I got a couple of really good ones. So you made a friend. That's cute. Right. Yeah? Hey, bestseller. How's my favorite writer? Are you there yet? Very. Yeah. We just got it. Are the locals giving you trouble? Just say the word and I'll hop on a plane and come make sure that you're left alone, Al. No, Barry, we're fine. Great, great. Just want to make sure you can relax and recharge. So, how is the place? Has it gotten your creative juices flowing? Barry, we're just settling in. Okay, Al. I'll call back later to make sure you're doing okay. And you call me if there's a problem, okay? Okay. Just looking out for you, buddy. Talk to you later. I love you too, Barry. Oh, what am no, I supposed to do? Barry is Barry. I can always turn off the phone. What did I tell you? Dude. Text message from Barry. He says hi to you too. Okay, am I supposed to go Alan, talk to this here. guy? Come oh, on, let's, get back to the let's see who has the last laugh, city boy. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. Good day to you too. Is this the car? Is it the red one? Wait, do I get to drive? We need to stop at the local diner oh, to get, get the to drive, from the landlord. A Mr. Carl Stucky. He's waiting for us. I'll go fill her up while you get the key. I'll pick you up here in say 15 minutes. Sure. Alan, thank you for coming here with me. I love you too. Go on. I'll promise to behave. Graphics are insane on this game. I'd forgotten there were still places like this. Towns where everybody knew everybody. Welcome to the Oh Dear Diner. Hi, I was wondering if you could help me. I'm looking for... Mr. Wake, Alan, wake up. God, I am your biggest you fan. You can't even go on I vacation. I know people say that all the time, but I really am. I'm glad to hear that. Rose. Rose, I'm looking for Mr. Stuckey. Carl Stuckey? Carl? Of course, Mr. Wake. He must have gone to visit the restroom. He'll be back in a moment. I can't believe it. I got all awesome. Your books. I don't care. I got the cut out from the bookstore when they took it out of the window. <laughs> and you keep it here. Kind of looks like him. Well, okay. Good for you. A little bit. Do me a favor, oh, Sonny. I could really use a tune right now. Coconut number six in the jukebox. I'd do it myself, but. Both of my legs have gone to sleep. Bad circulation. Go. Yeah. Are you serious? Coconut again? You disgust me. Call yourself a rocker. Unbelievable. Ah, it does that. Get stuck. Yeah. You need to give it a good solid whack. Oh. There we go. Now that's what I'm talking about. Yes. Cross the thermos. This go. is it. I've died and gone to hell. I hope you broke the light. Don't go in there, young man. You can hurt yourself in the dark. I did I can handle it now. Worse today. I didn't want to wait. I wanted to find Stucky to get the key and get out as soon as possible. The waitress was giving me a headache. 
Overeager fans always did. Hello? Mr. Stucky? Whoa. Carl couldn't make it. Unfortunately, he was taken ill. But I have the oh. key for you and instructions on how to get to the lake. Okay. I wish I'm you would you stay in my cabin. I'll come by later to check how you've settled in. And to meet your wife. I insist. Thanks. Gosh, you creepy lady. Now it's a lot less creepy. Okay. Cauldron Lake is a special place. It's Very awesome. inspiring. Awesome. You got lucky this time, young man. You can hurt yourself in the dark. <laughs> Even that sounds better than your singing. Are you alright? <gasps> the Andersons. They're uh local musicians. We're waiting for Dr. Hartman to come pick them up. They want her. Bye, Mr. Wake. Mission accomplished. The key and the directions. My hero. I got some flashlights, just in case. Hey, wait! Mrs. Wake! Your... Your keys! Where are we going? That diner was a real nut house. <laughs> Can you believe this place? This would make a wonderful setting for a book. We're supposed to be on vacation, Alice. I'll figure it out when we get back home. Okay? Okay. We can talk about this later. Batman here on PBF FM. I didn't want to talk about it. I wanted to bury my head in sand. Here's another one of my favorites to go with it. Once upon a time, I was a successful writer. But that was a long time ago. I hadn't been able to write a word in two years. Not since my last book. Great. Down in the middle of nowhere on a lake. It's pretty dark out here. Awesome. Wow. It's gorgeous out. It's something, all right. Don't worry, honey. I'll get you inside safe and sound before it gets dark. And I've got the flashlight. I'm okay. Alice had a phobia. The fear of darkness. I wanted to oh, make sure blame. we were inside with the lights on before sunset. For a moment, the oppressive feel of the nightmare I had seen on the ferry returned. Jeez. Damn. The cabin looked like a time capsule from the 60s, or even earlier. I needed to get the power running in the cabin. There had to be a fuse box or a generator somewhere on the island. The power cable goes to that shed over there. Why don't you do it then, lady? You don't be afraid of the dark and I wouldn't have to do this. How did I get in? Oh, right there. An old generator had been connected Great. to the power cable. Riga dig dig. Is it going though? Okay, I'll look around a bit. Sure thing. Have fun. The island had once been the site for a love oh. story. Okay. I don't care about that tree it was anyway. A beautiful place. I told myself I could rest here, sleep here, and forget about my work.
I thought we could be happy oh, here. Adorable. Maybe it would be that again. Turn to Alice. Can I name this tree? It's not. Is this fish talk? Alice? Honey? The old door had played a trick on me. Alice wouldn't have come out in the dark. Surprise. It's in the study. Go take a look. <laughs> okay. Surprise. Surprise. Alice? What is this? I guess I have a small confession to make. I thought maybe you could write here that a change of scenery would get you past... Damn it, Alice. You... Everyone Hey, keeps... hey, hey! Just hear me out! There's a local doctor, Dr. Hartman. I read a book of his. He has a private clinic here. He specializes in helping artists. Maybe so now you want to get me committed? No, it's not like that. That's not. Whoa, whoa, Alan? what was that? Alan? I don't, just don't. I don't want to hear it. God damn it, Alice. Whoa. God damn it. I knew she wouldn't follow me in the dark. I needed some time alone to think things through. Oh. How'd she just fall, dude? Run! What the fuck's saying? Alice, run! Alice. The cabin had gone dark. All yeah, the I lights know, were I can out. tell you. Don't need to narrate the entire thing. I guess you're an author, but still. Help! Outside. Alice, I'm what coming! Is that? It's alright, I'm coming! What no! the hell? Alan, help me! What? Dude, what is happening? Alice? Oh my. Alice? Sounded like it just she got ripped apart. Oh my. Oh no! She's dead. <gasps> I hope you can swim. Keep going, Alice. What? Wake up. Alice? Waking up in the crashed car felt like I had woken from one nightmare and entered another. I couldn't remember how I got there. All I knew was that something terrible had happened to Alice. The phone was dead. I'd have to find help on foot. Among Alice's things was a book, The Creator's Dilemma, by a Dr. Emil Hartman. Seeing the book real. brought back my fight with Alice. I didn't like it, and I didn't like the guy's smug face on the cover either. How am I supposed to... How do I bring out my flashlight? The gas station was my best bet. They'd have a phone I could use. It looked like a long hike through the forest to get there. Can't just go to the right. Right down here. Oh. Yeah, maybe. Oh, I didn't want to go well, this way this time. Damn. Oh, there goes the car. Hope there's nothing important. Hello? Why so bright? Someone there? Oh. 
blank pages. The loose sheets of paper were pages from a manuscript entitled Departure. That was the name I planned to use for the next novel I had never gotten started. I Whoa. was named the author. I hadn't written it. I couldn't remember writing it. In the scene on the page, the hero was attacked by an axe murderer in the woods at night. Why are you already tired, dude? So the man turned to face me. Okay, His face was covered. It. It's, okay. it's okay, I don't think it. Find this page in Nightmare. Okay. okay. So we're only on episode one. So there's page that I can find. Got it. No, if I just come across them, I come across them. I'm gonna run around looking for him. So, am I going the right way? What? Anybody there? Please! My I've been in an accident! Lights up ahead were a good sign. Maybe I wouldn't have to hike all the way down to the gas station to find a phone. Mm, there's a tree through. Got it. Stay on the tree. Jump. What the frick? Hey! Right. Hey, you! Failed! There's been an accident. I need help. Listen, How do I feel like I'm he's not too real? I'm cabins for rent in... Rightful! Because oh, he's not. Oh, okay. Carl Stucky. Please, to meet you. Non-refundable reservation deposit required. Fair and square. What was that? Fair and square. Where'd he go? I guess I'm supposed to avoid him. Oh. Okay, guy. Calm down. Get it fair and square. Got it. Calm down. And now he's jumping over time. Okay, he's gonna kill us. Get it. Got it. I had to figure a way out of this. Any second now, and Stucky would be knocking on the door with his axe like Nicholson in The Shining. Sweet. Gun and flashlight. So we're gonna stop him. During your. Trying. Get the latest thing in can Where do I get out of Cast the blade. Where do I leave it? Proven Nelson let you kill one stone. I wasn't about to open the door as long as I was liable to catch an axe with my forehead. Hello? Really? Hello? Tell me how you chop down all of those power lines. That quick. Dodge, but okay. 
Thank you. Dude, screw off. Die. My head panel is a concussion. I'd never fired a gun outside a shooting range. And now I just killed someone. Or they something. Weren't. There were no bodies. They just disappeared. Real. If I was dreaming, it felt real enough to make me sick. Can I grab that chainsaw? The dark forest was the last place I wanted to go, but I had no choice. I had to get to the gas station. It's rabbit season. Why? What's up here? Where's my stamina bar? That's what I want to know. <coughs> Cutscene, lady. Got it. I guess I got to the gas what station. The hell was no one's gonna be there. When I saw the river below, Something uncoiled itself inside my head. I realized that I'd have to find a way across. I didn't even want to look at the water. I'm gonna have to do some parkour stuff. Alan Wake. Stucky was still out there, in the dark, stalking me. Batteries. Thank you. The staircase was broken. I had to make my way up some other way. Oh, sweet. What's this do? There was no power. There was bound to be a generator somewhere at the logging site. So, I don't understand what these coffee thermoses do. So that's not gonna be good. Okay. Oh, 
don't know what I'm supposed to do. Can I not jump up? What am I supposed to do with it then? So confused. What's this over here do? Here we got some revolver ammo, so that's good. So where am I supposed to go? Oh, right there. That That's probably a little... Shotgun ammo, you tell me we're gonna find a shotgun? I was just outside. Okay, so there's real the people fresh left. Air and what a night. I, I know most of you are probably in your beds by now, but if you still are around, take yellow a stuff. Step outside for a spell and a shotgun in here. Flare gun. I got a flare. That's cool. An old man like me, wish I could just roll well, I find a shot. Oh. <laughs> but here I am. Manuscript. Guess this is right over there. The gas station was closer now. I just it's like that. welcoming in the darkness. Rough, Ducky. Very faster is the best with no curves. Monster dog <laughs> is second best. The famous dog is. Why the hell the wind's picking up? Oh, dodge! You can throw stuff at me. Light. Where'd it go now? I really hope I'm going the right way. Dude, you got Tyreek really easy. Ooh, it's a tractor. It's probably. I also want to try and get. The 
salad, though. A man like me needs a sixteen meal. That's for the day. Get me to the gas station. Why is there so many? Wait for a second. Science. It bestows immortality on those who advance it to elevate all of mankind. Newton, Einstein, Sagan, princes among men. There's a limit on that. There's so much in here though. Oh, do I actually get to fight him now? I'm tired of you, dude. Come back here. What am I supposed to do again? Ah, ouch! Can't I dodge him? It won't look dude. I'm so dumb. Next time, so then we can fight this guy.